Yeah, hi there. And these comments are for JR, just using your initials for privacy purposes. And I am Michael. I am your English 106 writing instructor. I'm also the founder, materials writer, and the owner of the online course called the Seven Step System to Pass TOEFL IBT. So guess what? I got good news here. I just read your paper and I'm looking at the rubrics right now. You scored high in all areas. You pretty much had a perfect score. So you had 38 points out of 40, 95 percent. So the only problem you're having really, it deals with the conventionally documenting academic uh, writing with MLA documentation. So you didn't have a works cited section. Even when you refer to Morris's ideas, even in the body paragraphs, I mean, you mention him by name many times, which is good because that attributes what you're saying to him and, the, and you're correctly doing what's called a paraphrase or a summary. And in some cases, you quoted what he was saying and that's appropriate, but you still should put those in-text citations in there indicating the page number of where that information came from. So those in-text citations are also helpful for your audience and it helps us distinguish the different voices in the paper also. But overall, I think in terms of your organization, you can't get any better than this. You had a very good compare and contrast thesis and then you restated his ideas in the body paragraph along with yours. So I think everything connected together. I'll just give you one example. You have in the paragraph on page three, you say, finally, Morris and I both focus on sharpening sentences and editing our essay in the third draft. It's good. Then you talk about Marius, then you talk about your process, and even the, one of the reasons your paper scores so high is when you discuss your writing, you give specific examples to add depth and progression of thought to the writing. It's good, you can't get, I mean, this is exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for in writing at this level. Let me just give you an example. You say on page three, you say, I began by reading my final project for English 105 out loud and started to create compound and complex sentences so that the essay would be choppy and more delightful to read. I also inserted transition words in order to connect my ideas and help the reader understand what I was aiming for. I then have at least two people and then so on. That's a good example. It helps explain your process in more detail. I really liked how you did that. So good organization, good development. You had a good polish to your writing. So very nicely done. So your score here is 95 out of 100. It's a very good effort on your part. All right, JR, thank you.